Hello, welcome or welcome back. I don't really care which, just hello. Um, this is the uh, not so secure uh, block. It's not very secure because all you have to do to open is that. So here are all the codes if you want to know. Uh, A up, B down is locked. Uh, A up, B down is open. A down, B up is preset. A down, B up is close. Uh, A down, B, B, A down, B down locked too. A up, B up, preset too. And by locked, I don't mean, oh, no, you can't go in there. It's just, uh, this is it. Is, is down, down. Yeah, it just means that you can't really get in there, even with crouching. Um... Now, just as an, I, I, uh, by the way, you can skip ahead a bit if you just want to know, uh, how to build it, and you've already watched this or something, I don't know. Um, now, just as an extra security measure, just in case the person trying to break into your base is very dumb, um, build this. It might keep them out, possibly, if they don't know how crouching works, and if they don't think to do this. Like, if they don't think to run... Or, I mean, they can't really get out very well if, if, you know, they can't, if they don't know to crouch, so, you know. And, yeah, let's get to the building. So, it's this, so basically, you just have a redstone torch where this is, so that when this powers on, you you also need this one. So, see? Just like that. So I'll have it all on as an example, you know. Um, so, that redstone torch travels over here, past here. We need these to not be connected, though. They can't be connected, which is why we have two right there. And also, uh, that one, I don't know why that one's there. It's just there. But, you know, you need to build it somewhat like this. So we're going to focus on this one first. Don't mind that redstone right there. You can add that in if you want. Uh, it's not a big part of it. So we go over here. Just connect this redstone to this piston. You're going to want to build this piston. Uh, you're also going to want... You're, you're just going to want to build this first. This initial frame. Uh, because, you know, you can't really start on the redstone first. That would be... No. Uh, I mean, or you can start on the redstone first. I don't really care. So then it goes over here. Excuse me. And then we have one of those here. Because it kind of runs out of power after this. And it goes back here. And into these two pistons. And these four pistons. So, you'll see, I don't know why this level get out of here. And then, now, yeah, we're done with that one. Yep, okay. Wait, yeah. So, here's the other one. Wait. Okay, I was focusing on the other one. So, this way, obviously these. Okay, and then we go up here. We do a little turn this way. Make one right here, and down... To this piston right here. This will, you know, these are the side ones that kind of uh, take the blocks. We're going to use another one of those because, you know, I, don't, I mean, actually, we do have one right there, so it might not be needed, but actually, no, I think it's needed. Or you can put it a little bit ahead, I don't really care. So, and honestly, it won't make much of a difference. So, anyway, uh, you go over here, down. And then that connects to both of these. And yeah, just pause and stuff if you want to get a better look. Because obviously you probably can't build that fast. No, you know, no hate, but nobody can really build that fast. Maybe, maybe green on, I don't know, adrenaline, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, this is your not so safe. A vault door. Oh my god, that, that's locked mode. Wait. Um, yeah, you yeah you might not also want to have the instructions right there, or else it's even less safe. I think. No, that's closed. So this is open. What happened? So I was right. There we go. Okay. 
So just don't flick them too quickly with each other, or else that will happen. And that's not fun. And then you can, I don't know, you can put your volleyballs here. I wouldn't recommend it, unless you're using the trick mumbo jumbo made of the, like here. Well, let me demonstrate. I was watching mumbo jumbo like two minutes ago, and he was doing this trick, and I actually use the trick quite often. I mean, this is a bit more secure than, you know, just your chest being in your home out in the open. So, if you don't have anything better, I guess this is probably the best thing to do. But, there is definitely better stuff that you can do if you don't, if you have better stuff. So, what you do is, you, here, I'll, pro I'll probably be here. No, no, wait, no, make a note, here! That's where I meant. So, uh, first of all, you need to find a chest. You need to put your chest there. Doesn't matter if it's a trap chest or not. I'm gonna use trap chests so that they're, you know, kind of not gonna connect. Because, you know, I don't want them to connect, or else that kind of ruins the whole idea, you know? So we're just gonna use alternating chests. And... Like that. Okay. And then you place... Well, or you can place, place like, spruce back here. I, yeah, I would recommend putting, like, one of those. And then just some spruce. Just to make it seem less suspicious. Like this, probably. So make sure to put it backwards. And it is slightly noticeable, but only if you have, like, eagle eyes. Other than that, you know, they won't... They probably won't see it. Especially, you know, since it's behind chests, and also, no, and also because, you know, how are you going to notice that difference? Probably very hard to click on, though, even if it, even, even if you're the owner. Because you know where it is if you're the owner. It's probably quite hard to click on, so, you know, anti-criminal and anti-owner. Oh, I have fun trying to open that, if you do that. No, I don't- No! Oops. Okay, I kind of made it- Oh, wait, it's because I'm crouching. Yes! Okay. Now I- Now you can put all your valuables in there. You can have, uh, 64 guys staring at you. You know, just average stuff. Why, why haven't you clicked off the video? You should probably click off the video. Click off the video. Come on, do it.